Here is another viewer inspired video who wanted to know why you were allowed to use pull down stairs in a garage attic that weren't even close to meeting building codes and usually had small steps and tall risers. And even though I cannot provide you with reason why this is allowed, I can tell you that it is clearly stated in the International Building Code Book at the very beginning of the stairway section. And I will place those reference numbers along with a few of the building codes in the video description or comment area where there are three exceptions. Number one, stairways not within or serving a building porch or deck. Number two, stairways leading to non-habitable attics, which in most cases is going to be your garage attic. And number three, stairways leading to crawl spaces. And if that doesn't make sense, let me go ahead and provide you with an example of an attic that would not be habitable. And a habitable space, according to the definitions in this same book, will be a space in a building for living, sleeping, eating, or cooking. So if you don't have any of those in your attic, then you shouldn't have a problem using a smaller stairway or something with larger risers and smaller steps. And even though I'm providing you with these building code references, you will need to keep in mind that your building code representatives might interpret these codes differently or avoid using them altogether. And in our next example, I will provide you with a stairway going into a non-habitable crawl space area. So the difference between a crawl space and a basement is usually going to have something to do with a finished floor. So if you have an area like this where the bottom of the area is not finished in concrete and falls into the non-habitable definition, then you might be allowed to build a stairway that falls into the exception here and can be designed and assembled without using building codes.